All right, for some further updates and customizations, you're going to want to know about how to change the look of WordPress. Get it here in this next video. Now, in this video, what I'd like to do is I'd like to just show you how that we can change the look a bit of WordPress. Okay, because right now what we're doing is we're using this stock 2011 theme. Okay, and you can see when I refresh this page, every time I refresh this page, a new header is going to show up. These are just headers that were pre-installed. And it's really not something that I, I want. I don't want my headers to be rotating. And you can also see that over on this right hand side, this is the widget area. And you can see that it's loaded with a lot of stuff in here. Really a lot of stuff that I really don't want in here too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you how to change some of this thing. So if we go to appearance, okay, over here on the left hand side, and then click on themes, you can see from in here, I have some theme options. Okay, like we can change our widgets, we can change our theme options, okay, where I can choose to the color, I can choose the different layout. You can see this has the content on the left, widget area on the right, or we can choose for content on the right with the widgets on the left. And if I set it to that and then refresh this page, you can see what's happened is you can see our main content has moved from the left hand side over to the right. Okay. I generally like, it's just a personal preference, so I like generally my content to be on the left and my widgets to be on the right. So that's the way that I'm going to save that. I can go ahead and change our link color to really any color that we want in the rainbow. You can see I can change that. And then when I go ahead and refresh this, you can see, you know, that these links here have changed to suit the colors that I want. Okay. Um, we can also go ahead and right now let's go ahead and go over to this header area because right now what this is doing is it's choosing random images and I don't want it to choose random images. I'd like it to show one of these images and have it always be there. Or if I wanted to as well, I could go ahead and upload, okay, I could upload a new header image, okay, and you can see that their suggested width is going to be 1000 pixels wide by 288 pixels high. And if you'd like to do that, all you have to do is go ahead and right here, we can choose the file. You can just choose the file right from your computer and go ahead and upload that. I'm going to just use this image that's already here. That's fine. Looks like a rim or something like that. Okay. I can even choose to remove the header image. So if we remove the header image, okay, and then we refresh our site, you can see I've got no header image here. It just has the text in there. Heck, I can even get rid of text, I can get rid of header text, okay, and you can see it's gotten rid of that header text, but I don't want that right now. I'm going to use little header text, and I'm also going to use one of these images, so if I go ahead and save changes and refresh this, you can see that it's using this image in all the different pages. Like if I go to this new post page, it's going to be there. If I go to the sample page, it's still going to be there. Okay. So those are a couple ways that we can change our appearance. We can change our background colors. Like if we wanted to, right now we have no background whatsoever. But if we wanted to, we could change the background. We could upload an image or we could change the color to almost any color that you want. As you can see right now, it's kind of like a gray color. Okay, and we could change it to purple if we wanted. I mean, I personally, I don't think it looks good, but you can see, if we refresh it, it's now a purple, it's now a purple site. Okay, so there's lots of different things that you can change. Okay, now, the other thing that I do want to change is I want to change my widgets, because what these widgets are is, 
There's a main sidebar area. There's also a showcase slider on here, footer area widgets, but what are showing up and what I don't like right now are all this stuff over here on the right, like this metadata. I definitely don't want that in there. And you can see that it's right here. And all we need to do to get rid of it is just hold your mouse down over it, then click the button and just drag it over to the left. So we're going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of a bunch of these just to make it look better. I'm going to get rid of the search bar. I'm going to get rid of comments. I'm going to get rid of categories. I'm going to get rid of the archives. And all I really want to leave there are the recent posts. And now when I refresh this page, you can see that our, our area here has cleaned up a little bit. And you can see these are widgets that are built right into, into WordPress, okay? And they allow you to put different, different things over here on the right-hand side. You can see there's also a text widget. And what I'd like you to do is for now just go ahead and grab onto that, hold it down, okay? And then drag that over here into there. And we can name this. This is a good place to put ads or you can put an opt-in. Okay, you would put your either ad AdSense code or different banner code or an opt-in form. We can put all those things here if we wanted to. And if you look, when we go ahead and refresh this site, you can see all that stuff would be in there, okay? You don't need to have that, but that's just a way that you can add in. Or if you wanted a message to your visitors, you could even put, like, if you had a local business, you could put a map right to your business in there as well. But those are just some ways that we can go ahead and play with the look of our site and really change things around quite a bit. Okay, so I will see you in the next video.